At age 76, Arnie Yantanen and his wife Sandy have lived full, adventurous lives. Well, we love to travel. Arnie had a dream. He wanted to go to New Zealand. So one of our first big trips, we went to Australia and New Zealand. We did a tour of them both. We saw the Eiffel Tower on the Seine River. There's our boat cruise and we, we took that and it was very wonderful. For the past seven years, their feet have been grounded. And their hands kept busy working in their garden at their home in Wasaga Beach, filling their days with simple joys. But their quiet life was interrupted after Arnie experienced a series of injuries and health issues. Over the past several years, Arnie has had two knee replacements and found to have had an irregular heartbeat. He had a fall, a head injury, which left him in a coma for a period of time. He also suffered a stroke that impacted the use of his right arm and leg. He fought back and physically regained his health. When COVID-19 hit Ontario and forced social distancing rules, Sandy saw a change in her husband that worried her even more. His memory wasn't as good. I noticed that and he just didn't really want to do anything, wasn't interested in anything too much. I just thought normal aging, okay? But Sandy knew it wasn't aging and she called her family doctor. Well, I think they've referred him to a geriatric um, doctor and we've only been able to talk to her on video because of the COVID. And I think that's how we came across Maureen. So we managed to get through uh, some introductions and an assessment. Maureen um, Corbett is a recreation therapist with the North Simcoe Muskoka Specialized Geriatric Services Program. A rec therapist is a health professional that uses forms of recreation, leisure, and play as treatments to support people and their unique health care needs. At NSMSGS, Maureen is part of a dedicated team of health care providers working to improve the health and well-being of frail older adults and their caregivers. Last December, Maureen was assigned to help Arnie, and she was faced with a big challenge. Find ways to improve Arnie's mental and physical well-being, but over the phone. Recreation therapy is usually a person-to-person -person group interventions. And then all of a sudden with COVID, we're now doing it virtually, um, either through the telephone or Zoom calls. She was very good at finding out what Arnie was interested yeah. in and talking to him about what his interests were and especially finding out that he loved to travel, be yeah. interested in looking at some travel videos and that kind of thing. Yeah. We just had some time together and uh, I built up a portfolio of what he used to like to do, um, his passions, his dislikes, and he slowly started engaging in uh, more and more. Maureen tapped into Arnie's nostalgia, finding him travel videos from some of his favorite places in the world. She set him up with virtual exercise classes twice a week, and soon Arnie's spark came back. For Arnie to uh, start being Arnie again, it was just, I think, somebody besides his wife showing interest. That's the social interaction, and that's the, uh, you know, having that um, in engagement with somebody else that I've lived with in isolation for the last six months. And now I have someone that's interested in me and what um, I'm all about. And you've really enjoyed the exercise. Yeah. It's been very good for me. There's no question about that. It, you know, it's kept my spirits up. In 2020, the North Simcoe Muskoka Specialized Geriatric Services Program began to raise attention to the concept we call confinement syndrome. As a result of the pandemic and all of the COVID restrictions, the team was seeing the mental and physical health of many older adults and caregivers deteriorate. Prior to the pandemic, one in five Canadians, mainly older adults, experienced some degree of loneliness. In those over 85 years, the rate of loneliness was as high as 25%. While the pandemic has made loneliness and isolation worse, it has also made us even more aware of the reality many older adults and caregivers were facing before COVID. We had troubles with social isolation and loneliness in our older adults long before COVID-19. And I fear that we're gonna have trouble with that after. Look for the core features of a major clinical depression. And that includes a sustained sad, sadness or depression uh, over time. It includes a lack of interest in doing things, not just apathetic, but actually not enjoying. It includes worse appetite an increase or decrease in sleep, things like that. It also in the older adult includes irritability. 
Last spring, Marine and the NSM SGS team worked to create an activity toolkit that can be used by caregivers and health professionals to help older adults feel engaged in their daily lives. It's a way to combat loneliness and the feeling of isolation. So there are tearaway activities that you can tear out of the book or print off the internet and do either on, on your own with a PSW or with a family member. He has chosen the ice cream sundae um, to do, and it's broken down into very simple stages, and it has many um, appropriate uh, uh, benefits, like there's the socialization, um, there's the, uh, the feeling of success. That toolkit can be found on the website nsmsgs.ca and has been used widely in the area. For Arnie, it has made a massive difference in his life and his health. The most important things I think was even just talking to Maureen and having somebody interested in what, you know, knowing what his interests yeah. were and and talking to very good to have somebody yeah. to have a co good conversation with. Excellent. To help an older adult in your life stay active and engaged, explore virtual options such as the Activity Toolkit by NSM SGS or the South Georgian Bay Older Adults Activity Calendar by the Southern Georgian Bay Ontario Health Team. You can also contact your local community or senior centres.